We are in the Holy Grail. I think this is always very special, where the wine slowly matures into very fine drops. And uh, that brings us to the winemaking side of things. But I think we both probably pointed out that winemaking should be just nurturing the grape juice into natural grape wines. And again, emphasizing that the most important part is done in the vineyard. Yeah. But white wines are normally uh, barrel fermented. They go to cold soak. Depending on the variety, we have skin fermentation, longer or shorter. Not only variety, actually, it's vintage as well, isn't it? Yeah, uh, you mean the bite, mm. the more skin, yeah. Yeah, skin maceration for two or three days, maybe some four days, depends the year on the grapes, yeah. So. And then they get pressed and then settled down for two days. They put them from the sediment in straight in the barrel for the right fermentation. So. And now you can hear them. So we use only dry ice. Uh, we don't want to use sulfur. We already have very clean fruit. And this is why it is so important that you have, unfortunately, an expensive winery on your land. But <clears throat> if you want to do great wines, naturally, and you want to have that purity, you can't track around grapes. They need to come fresh into the winery, still beautiful, intact. And so we pick, and then Hans has them latest, 15 minutes later, um, sometimes faster. And then Hans, only you use only dry ice, so we can avoid sulfur totally. Um, and keep it cool with dry ice, and dry ice is obviously also uh, a protection. And we leave that the whole time when it is on skin contact. Yeah, especially in the tank, we have the closed tank. Just for the red wine, we do let them maybe a cold soak for four or five days with dry ice on the top of it, so that's more clean, clean air inside, so nothing happens. And then the fermentation starts for themselves, you know, some main is the wild yeast. So that's, so and we never push uh, no, no. fermentation, and also the fermentation, we keep it cool. I mean, we do con it's a controlled fermentation in terms, in terms of temperature, uh, but it has all the time to go through a natural ferment. And this is, uh, I mean, this is really expressing, uh, I think, the wine yeah. and the place and the land. Barrels. We think it's a very important part of maturing our wines and we invest in the best uh, French uh, barriques. Uh, normally we have the white wines in 500 litre punchants yep. because we love a, big, a bigger barrel, so less uh, wood contact. But then when we talk about a wood contact, um, we don't look for oak and I think if you, if you taste our wine, you never taste oak. Uh, because the wine are so concentrated, they, they're not overpowered by the oak. But the oak is a beautiful vessel to mature the wine. And that slight exchange of uh, oxygen and air uh, just really helps this maturation process. And then when you taste our wine, you know, 20 years later, and you can see how young uh, they still are. Uh, there must be something right. Yeah. <laughs>